Hello. Here I am, humbled by your majesty, covered by your grace so free. Here I am, knowing I'm a sinful man, covered by the blood of the Lamb. Now i found the greatest love of them all is mine, since you laid down your life, the greatest sacrifice. Majesty, majesty, your grace has found me just as I am, empty-handed but alive in your hand. Majesty, majesty, forever I am changed by your love. In the presence of your majesty, here I am humbled by the love that you give. Forgiven that I can forgive. Here I stand, knowing that I'm your desire, sanctified by glory and fire. Now I've found the greatest love of all is mine, since you laid down your life, the greatest sacrifice. Spirit of living God, thank you for today and thank you for this lesson. Have us learn what you have for us to learn. Thank you for your love and your blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Who am I to God? Romans 8, 16, and 17. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. We are children and heirs. Colossians 1.12 Giving thanks unto the Father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Heirs, heirs means we share the inheritance. Second Corinthians 1, 21 and 22. Now he which establisheth us with you in Christ and hath anointed us is God, who hath also sealed us and given the earnest of the Spirit Spirit in our hearts. The inheritance is the Holy Spirit inside of us. Micah 3 8. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to, to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. The Spirit is the power. Luke 9 1. Then he called his disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. We are, we are children of the King of Kings. As his children we have royal blood and therefore the authority to exercise the power Jesus had. We have had this authority from the beginning, but Jesus came to give us a starting point to identify as the moment we received this authority. As he gave his disciples that authority back then, so do his disciples have it today. Matthew 6 and 9 says, After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be our name. This is our identity. It is important to know your identity in Christ. If you don't, you will identify yourselves by the insults directed at you by the bad people. 
the loser with the big head, long hair, and tight pants who gets beat up every day and nobody likes. Now, as a child and joint heir of the King of Kings, who has been given dominion over all the earth. Genesis 1.26 And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. It is important to know who, who you are in Christ. It is important that you have been given. It is important to recognize that you have been given this authority and know that you are able to use it. John 3, 2 says, then came, the same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. It is important to recognize that you have been given this authority and and know that you are able to use it because it is this authority that allows others to know that God is with you. The churches that claim to be believers but are not charismatic so they lack these miracles, I doubt God is with them. God still performs these miracles on behalf of believers to prove that he is still very much with us and active in his children's lives. Romans 8, 16, and 17 The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God and his children then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. We are children and heirs. This power, this authority, this inheritance is ours for the taking. Just claim it and believe. John, John 1, 12 But as many as receive but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. The power that made Jesus the Son of God is for us just believe. Spirit of living God, thank you for today. Thank you for this power. I believe on your name. And on the name of your son, Jesus Christ. So I claim that I claim the power that you promised me here. Thank you for your promises and for being true to your word. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, get lost.